I like to voice my opinion a lot, especially when it's a game that's bragging to be a new step in the direction of the future of racing games in general. And there's a reason I'm talking about Gran Turismo Sport today, because that, my friends, includes a big step that, honestly, I haven't given it a whole lot of credit for until now. Now, GT Sport, we were all very confused about what it was trying to be. It's trying to be an eSport, it's trying to be like a, a futuristic eraser thing in where everybody's kind of linked and if you're 99 you can play races against six-year-olds and all this kind of rubbish they they floated and pooed out everywhere and it was just like okay okay can you actually get to the point and tell us what it actually is now if you don't know there's been a beta sign up for quite a while for the past i don't know couple of weeks month now there's been a beta sign up for the us and the eu currently only the US is actually able to get the game, I believe. But the beta, normally with betas, you're like, okay, it's just going to be a test, like a couple of cars here and there, because we're so used to games, racing games specifically, being like, oh, here you go. It, it just, yeah. Betas are normally, oh, let's just hopefully don't fall through the map or anything. But this is Gran Turismo. Well, I, I didn't think this, I don't know. But Gran Turismo Sports beta is literally the game and testing how the, the whole system is going to work and actually testing it with real people. Now, a lot of people have actually been streaming GT Sports beta because you're actually allowed to if you use the PS4 Pro's, uh, PS4's share features and that kind of thing. So a lot of people have been streaming. I've came across a few of them. You may have done so also. But the idea behind of what they're actually doing is every day they go onto the game and there's a new set of events for them to try which sounds pretty cool so what essentially happens is every single day you participate in this big event and every day you qualify certain positions against online players and then you get this is how you did and obviously the next day it looks at how you performed yesterday and it sees okay they performed this this well last match we're going to put them into a higher class this time against more difficult players. And you get the idea all the time this game is going to be learning how you drive, where you drive. It's all online, not all of it. You can actually play offline as well in GT Sport, just so you know, it's not always online. But the idea is to actually have a proper online racer in where you see on the PlayStation, for example, on the PlayStation, on the home screen, there is actually a section to set up event times with people or events you may be interested in. This is the first proper game that makes you go, this will work properly. It's taking what Drive Club did, in my view, and the whole online integration with that game and taking it a notch further. The main progression in this game is racing against real people that's a step now i know other track races have kind of tournament modes that kind of thing because it's just an obvious thing to do but no game has actually put that to the front of like okay this is what we're focusing on everyone else kind of just goes you know what we should think something last minute because we really need an extra feature let's just do kind of online tournament systems that'll do just throw that on whereas gt spot that is like the main thing you buy the game to participate in these real events against real people and progress every single day that is cool. Now, just stepping away from that, because that's probably the, the most compelling feature to me, is a Gran Turismo game. There's literally... There's, most of the time, it's difficult to find things wrong with a Gran Turismo game. I mean, the only two things I had complaint-wise for the previous Gran Turismo very recently was obviously to do with the sounds. Everybody hates the sounds of Gran Turismo. Well, that's been fixed because they hired a Forza developer to do the sounds. And honestly, they sound brilliant. Some of the cars sound absolutely fantastic. Some sound okay. There's no, like, perfect ones because there's still a heck of a lot of cars in this game. It's not need for speed, sound-wise. But it's better than Forza, I would say. Forza has a tendency to use the same engine notes across all cars. Even though some cars have different exhausts and they sound different because of that. And a lot of other things as well. Forza necessarily just says, if you have a V12, it's probably going to sound like a Lamborghini. And that's literally what they do but in this they seem to be developing the proper sounds for the specific car which is good does still sound have the little hum of the vacuum in the background though my only other complaint for gran turismo has always been the camera the camera is not exciting at all you've been going at stupid speeds like 300 miles an hour okay not but you get the idea you can be at stupid speeds and the camera will be static even if you crash it like boom and you'd kind of go like that and that's it the camera wasn't very exciting that needed fixing they fixed it what about the people that don't want the camera to move around while they're driving that kind of thing? Because as you turn, it turns into the corners a little bit. Not like Project Cars in where actually, not Project Cars, it was uh, Shift. Not in Shift where it turns with you, that kind of thing. But it's more dynamic on games where you the camera reacts to people passing you. People, the camera reacts to bumps in the road, that kind of thing. As you would move around in a real car. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. That's good as well. They're, they're good at having options in Gran Turismo. You actually may remember I was saying what's going on with GT Sport. What is going on? I got invited to the event for Gran Turismo's like proper announcement, which was awesome. Got to play it there. I was, we were kind of like 
okay, this is cool. And then it just went dead for a while. And nothing happened. And I just made a video saying what's going on with the game. Next day, they announced, oh, it's been delayed. We're like, well, that's why. And we all just assumed, oh, it's the death of Gran Turismo. Gran, Gran Turismo is going, it's gone, it's gone. But we were wrong. It's actually done so much better. They've done a good job of just going, you know what? We were aiming to release here. We need to stop. My assumption is that in the time they've actually taken to, to do this is they've properly fulfilled like what they wanted to do with the like the the idea of this game and they've also added a mass amount of cars from what i've seen the car list has improved it does seem that there's a lot more low-end cars that appeared because obviously in the trailers and stuff it all race cars all race car, all the pictures here all race cars but they're actually adding some lower end cars in there as well which is gonna again make you progress through but i'm really excited for gt sport I never thought I'd be excited, that excited for a track racer. I'm not much for a track racing because it just I don't really like the idea of the staleness that they've become. I mean, I always bought GT, uh, Gran Turismo just for the fact that it was the track racer to go to when you had a PlayStation or when you played games with your friends. GT was the one to go to. The online lobby is absolutely unbeatable. The tuning was pretty much like second to none in my view when it comes to console races and that's what i had access to and that's what my friends have access to but gt sport is literally taking it to another level a level that i've not seen before they could pull this off so well or it could literally die within a week they're taking a risk and i'm happy but the good thing is even if this online system in where you actually have proper tournaments and you win prizes i think if that doesn't work as the main game mode, they're still going to have, they're, in, in the time they've taken off, they're introducing a proper like story progression if you don't want to do online, if you want to play it offline. And also, there's obviously going to hopefully be the normal multiplayer, that kind of thing. Now, my only concern still thus far with GT Sport is how they removed features. Now, I know they've removed the day and night cycle, but honestly, I don't really care about that personally. You just set the time and the weather at the beginning of the race and it stays at the whole race. Honestly, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much to really cry about it because Forza doesn't do that. I mean, I'd prefer it to be there, but I don't, I'm not crying at night over it, you know? I do hope that the customization is still there, the tuning. I haven't seen any of that. Again, I haven't been watching a heck of a lot of other people's videos on this, but they've been streaming like every day, some, some like day 18, 19, 20 now of, of the events, which is so cool to like check it every now and again. It's like, that's pretty awesome. I feel as if that's what I'm going to do with it every day, kind of do an update or something or every other day. Whenever I decide to do it, maybe once a week, I'll kind of go proper race mode. I've wanted to do it for a while, get the wheel set up, wheel cam, face cam, literally go full out and go proper race mode and actually give it a proper go. Because that's not something I normally do. Normally, I'll go in and be stupid. But this game, it actually makes me go, you know what? I really would like to race properly on this. And maybe form like a race team of you guys on streams and we kind of race against other teams. That kind of thing. It would be pretty fun to do. But I hope the tuning, the customization and the open lobbies are still there. The Gran Turismo wings on GT6 were awesome. You could actually change the scale of it and how you wanted it. It was pretty cool. I really liked it. It was basically auto sculpt. My first auto sculpt on Gran Turismo. So I want that back. I want to buy used cars again. That would be awesome, and I hope there's a currency. I'm not 100% sure if there's a currency in the game. If not, that's going to kind of ruin it a little bit for me. But for the online stuff, I could maybe slightly understand that you can give cars, but I would also like the ability to be able to buy the car for the event myself and tune it up a little bit. Obviously, it had to be to a certain performance max, but then I'd also be able to, I'd like to be able to rent the cars for those that don't have them, and obviously maybe they get, they, they pay some at the end of the event for actually renting that vehicle out or something. But this is a step in the in the direction I want to see for racing games. I So many games this year, I reckon, are going to push boundaries because it's been, they've been stagnant for a while. They've been the same for a while. Racing games aren't pushing anything. As much as you love Forza Motorsport and Horizon, what do they bring into the table that makes you go, wow, that's amazing. The last game that really pushed anything for me was Drive Club. And before that, I don't know. So you see what I mean? GT Sport is looking to be a step in the right direction. Let me know your thoughts on GT Sport. You're going to be picking up GT Sport. Is GT Sport going to make you buy a PS4? Personally, I would be damn looking at that if I saw some proper GT Sport. Again, be sure to keep it locked here on the Black Panther channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of GT Sport. As I said, I want to do like a race series and where I'm properly going in for it. Because I'm not I'm not very good at it. So it'd be good to show you, know, show you from the bottom to the end on me progressing as a rate. To be fair, I'm not awful. I'm right. I'm right. I, I'm not awful. I'm just not great. 
If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.